Hello and welcome. Getting started with Odoo. In this video, we'll have a look at the internal agenda. Let's go for it. Now I'm right back into my instance. Now to get to this calendar, you need to go to messaging and then the menu select calendar. Now explore this view. First of all, we have three different types of view in a calendar. Our monthly view, a weekly view and a daily view. I have also the possibilities when clicking on the arrows to go forward to the next month or to a month before. And what's good is that you can always go back to today just by clicking on it. And the day is highlighted by default. We have a second calendar view here where actually you can have a view and put actually a month next to your actual month. Now, here beneath, you can select more than one calendar just to have a bright view on what is going on inside your company and your employees. You can select here one of those calendar. For example, I will select my colleague John Drummond. And as you can see, every user has his own color. Makes it more easy to identify who's doing what. If you have a lot of calendars, you can just select here everybody's calendar and it will show you at once all calendars. You can still activate or deactivate the view of the calendars of those people. Well, let's create a first meeting. I just click on it and I can enter a summary event. I can easily say just create event and event the event has been locked into my calendar. Now when clicking on it, I can have more details. If I want to edit that event, I just click on edit and now I will be able to enter more details. For instance, here it has been set as being an all day event. Well, I will change that and it will allow me to enter some hours to be more precise. I can set up some reminders 30 minutes just before as a notification. So just to remind me in my instance that I will have a meeting upcoming. can put a location as information and a description. First week of functional training. Let's save it. Let's go back to the calendar view and you can see here the description has been added. Now, I would like to have actually this meeting going on all week. Well, it's easy. In the option, you can select the recurrency. I said, OK, I want to repeat it every day. I can add from the start date a number of repetition or just set an end date. And I say, OK, the training goes from Monday the 15th until Friday 19th. I just click on Save. And when I go back to the calendar view, the recurrency has been added. Now let's add now John to one of my meetings. I will go to the next week and direct edit the event. Now let's enter second week of training. And here the attendees. Of course, not only myself, but I will add John to come over for the training. We change here just the hour. Put the location and put a description. I will make it recurrent every day with an end date and from 20 seconds until 26th. I will save it. Now, by saving it, 
an invitation has been directly sent to John. Well, let's go actually to John his instance. Here I'm at John's instance. I have also hel have his mailbox. Well, as you can see here, the invitation has been sent. And it allows me now just to accept or decline the invitation. Well, I click on it to accept everything. And now, if I go to the calendar view of John, you will see here that the meeting has been inserted. Well, let's go back now to the calendar of Mark Drummond. Let me just have a refresh. And let's go have a look here. Edit the event. And you will see now, when I go to the invitation, I see that Mark has accepted my invitation. So I can easily manage and see who is coming and who is not coming to that event. Now this was a really basic use of calendar. But you can imagine that you can easily manage everybody in your calendar view. Of course, Odoo is synchronized with Google Cal. This will be shown to you in the next video. Try to do it now in your instance. Thank you.